I was making these eggs for about uh, half a year, but it, they didn't have a specific purpose. My mother told me that her horse was uh, has died. And she called me like, oh, yo, not my horse is dead. What am I gonna do? Well, I have good news because I already made the, it's earned. <laughs> and she said, okay, let's do it. The horse was cremated. The horse is in, inside of the sculpture. I'm Jonas Deelstra, working here in Holland from Amsterdam, mainly a painter and a sculptor. If you're born as a human being, per definition, you're a burden uh, to nature, like the way everyone lives, even the most green uh, saint. The way we consume and live, we just use way too much for what's good for the planet. I was reading more and more about the way uh, the, the European Union goes about it. In all of Europe, I think only 1% of nature is protected. I try to focus on Holland and like what's our responsibility in this whole story. And right now in the North Sea, there's lots of wind turbines. And in between those wind turbines, seedlings, they can attach themselves to the, to the bottom of, the, of these turbines. I was fantasizing how it would be to diving and snorkeling in the North Sea. And I just started making these weird corals. They're not as beautiful as the, as the corals in, uh, in Thailand or uh, Indonesia. The North Sea is kind of an ugly sea, so the, the coral has to be a little ugly as well. I made all these corals on top of eggs, and they, they represent the human uh, side in this, uh, in this composition of uh, the sculptures. The corals on top there, it's the wildness of nature. But I want my body to be cremated and put in one of these eggs and then lowered into the North Sea. Um, so the coral can attach to all the urns over there. The fact that you're dead can mean that nature can flourish even more than before. You're kind of swapping teams, not a burden anymore, but you can, uh, you can sustain life instead of always having the feeling that you're taking it down. All these dead people can be breeding grounds for life. <laughs>